Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I'm here to do another reading for you. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We are just going to see what comes up. What do we got for Capricorn? The Magician. So this is a card of manifestation. Um, taking action to bring success. Having the power, having the tools, having the resources to get whatever you want. So that's what this is. You are in your power. Okay, you have the power. You have the ability. Okay, to have the heaven that you want, right? Because this is as above, so below. So you you can have whatever you want. That's what this tells me. Um, let's get some more cards. Nine of Swords. Well, this is somebody that is struggling, struggling with their thoughts. You could be overanalyzing. You could be worried about something. You definitely have a lot going on up there, you know. It's like you may feel confused or overwhelmed. Okay, there's some overwhelming thoughts here. Page of Pentacles reversed. You may be losing focus. You may be having a hard time concentrating because there's so much going on, so much... You're thinking a lot. You may be having a hard time completing tasks. Eight of Swords Reverse. There's removing an obstacle that is in your way. Um, hmm. Ten of Cups. Wow. Worried about a relationship. You're really worried about a relationship here. You're worried about your future. You know, um, things are not moving forward like they should by the looks of things. The Page of Pentacles. It's like there's things aren't really moving forward in a relationship and it's worrying you. I don't know. Nine of Cups. Look at this. You, you could be, uh, this is somebody that, you know, look at that. That's beautiful. That's, that's uh, wish fulfillment, happiness. At peace. You could be dealing with somebody who uh, this is passion. Red is passion and pink. Love. Nine of Cups next to the Ten of Cups. There could be some sort of love here. There is love here. This is happiness. This is. It's like there's an opportunity for happiness and wish fulfillment, but there's some obstacle in the way. If something isn't progressing as it should, it's not really making, it's not moving. Somebody isn't taking the steps that they need to take. There's worry. Five of Wands. Uh, there's power struggles going back and forth. Somebody is struggling. They're struggling to... Uh, move forward by the looks of things page of swords struggling with um, some sort of conflict inner conflict somebody is really conflicted about getting into a relationship by the looks of things I mean it looks like there's some sort of observation with the page of swords reverse there's observation there's watching behind the scenes there's um a lot of worry, uh, worry about competition, perhaps somebody be maybe worried about the competition. How much competition is there? That could certainly be a worry. Um, this is a card of competitions like hmm. two of cups reverse next to the 10 of cups upright. It's like a partnership. It's like there's a, there's a union here. There's a partnership here or there's. Uh, you know, there's an opportunity for a relationship to blossom, but there's, there's, 
some sort of conflict here. There is some sort of conflict. Nine of Pentacles about independence, okay? About, you know, whether you want to be alone or you don't want to be alone or the person you're dealing with. This is the Nine of Pentacles reverse. It's like independence is an issue here. What do I want? Do I do I do I want a relationship? Do I want a partnership? Do I want to do I want to work together with somebody or not? Now this is having the power to manifest to get whatever you want, but you have to use those resources. You have to take action. You need to step outside of your headspace um, and take action. Again, the Nine of Pentacles reversed is take action. Somebody needs to take action if they want this union. Because, I mean, there's an opportunity for happiness here, but somebody isn't taking any steps. So if you want to have a successful union or partnership, you're going to have to get out of your headspace and, you know, take steps to make it happen. Um, the Fool reversed. This is somebody is letting fear get in the way. Um, afraid to take a risk. Acting recklessly as well. Somebody could be acting recklessly. Um, being foolish. The fool reverse. Somebody is being foolish. There's something in the way of happiness. Oh my God. The sun. That is something in the way of happiness. The sun reverse is something in the way of happiness. This is the obstacle. And it has. There could be a uh, page of cups. You had need to open up. You need you you have the you and you see this person has the key. You have the key. All you have to do is unlock something. You have to open something up. Maybe you have to open your heart up. You have to open your heart up. You have to really um let go of your fear and jump right into this. Take this leap of faith. Jump right in head first by the looks of things. Um yeah, somebody is just not taking the steps. It's like there's fear in the way. And fear of giving up independence is a is a part of this, okay? Um, it's time to let go of that emptiness. It's time to, uh, you don't got nothing to prove. Just be happy. Just be yourself. Um, I think that you are probably dealing with a person that has a really big heart by the looks of things. This person is could really, 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 really make you happy, but you're going to have to really open up. Open up, open up, open up. Um, there's an obstacle in the way, and it has to do with um, fear. Fear of giving up your independence. I see loneliness here. You may be fearful that you're going to grow old alone and you're, you're coming to a point where you don't want to be alone. I see loneliness here. If you don't want to be alone, you're going to have to take some, some sort of action. You can have what you want, but you can't, you can't, you know, stay hiding. You can't stay in a, a period of hiding. You need to come out of hiding. You need to open up. You really need to open up. I feel as though you have somebody that um, you have some sort of connection with. Uh, this person um, probably has light colored hair by the looks of things. Um, very light colored hair. Doesn't have to be. Could have dark hair. I don't know. But I, I just happen to notice this light colored hair. I could have brown hair if it's the male. If you're dealing with a male, this person probably has dark hair or brown hair. Um, anyway, um, you even got red hair here. So it really doesn't even matter what color hair they have. But anyhow, um, there's a feeling of being incomplete here. You may be feeling like you're incomplete and you're looking for something more. And you want something more, but there's an obstacle in the way and it's fear. It's your thoughts. It's overanalyzing. It's not taking steps. You know, if you want success, if you want happiness, you have to stay, take steps to make something grow. It it looks like you're, somebody is really conflicted about giving up their independence and getting into a relationship. Um, there is an opportunity for a partnership here, but, um, you have to let go of that emptiness and let go of your fears that, you know, you're not good enough or whatever the case is, because I feel like, you know, we have somebody here that, 
Um, is struggling with letting another person in. Um, but there is, there's, this is beginning to realize that you do have an opportunity. You may be beginning to realize that you do have an opportunity for love. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could have a Virgo. Um, you could have a Gemini. You could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, this is realizing you do have an opportunity it's like coming out of the darkness, okay? So it's time. It's time for you to, you know, really open up your heart and go after wish fulfillment because it looks like with the Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups that this could, there's a, there's an opportunity for a relationship here that could make you very, very happy, make you very satisfied, okay? This person could really satisfy you. Um, but I, there's, there's fear of being taken advantage of, right? Well, I don't want to be taken advantage of by this person, you know, I think that you guys have been through some sort of midlife crisis uh, that has happened to change your perspective, to change your path. But now you just have to take steps down that new path. Um, literally take steps down that new path. Like really take the step, take the leap, but have it take, have some faith, have some faith that whatever crisis that you were through, went through was meant to happen. Okay. Um, it's time to let go of that emptiness and, and face your fears and let somebody in by the looks of things. Um, it's time, basically, really time to come out of hiding. You could have been dealing with a Pisces. Um, it feels as though, you know, You can't hide forever. You can't hide forever. It's time for you to show yourself. It's time for you to receive. It's time for you to be satisfied. It's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to let go of that thing that really, really hurt you, whatever it was that you're so worried about. Um, This is something being revealed. It's like something that has been hidden is about to be shown to you as well. Happiness, because this is happiness. It's like, yeah, you haven't had the happiness, but it's here for you. Oh, my God. But you're not... It's like you're not accepting it. There's, there's lack of faith. Lack of trust. No hope. No, it's like you're, you, you have, it's like you, you, you're fearing the worst here. There is an opportunity for happiness. There is. There's faithlessness. You gotta have faith, have faith, have faith. The star reversed, the, the fool reversed. Those are both lack of faith. It's time. I feel as though the, there is some sort of uh, transformation going on within you. And you need to release. Because it's time for you to start a new life. This is a new life. With endings bring new beginnings. So there was a death, right? There was a death of something. This death is bringing you a new life. But you're afraid to just go for it. Go for it. Go for it. This is this is uh not seeing it. Not excited, being weighed down, being weighed down by your own lack of faith. You're not seeing a situation clearly. This is somebody who is unwilling to see things from a new perspective. Maybe you were dealing with somebody who abused you. Verbally, mentally, they neglected you, whatever. 
And now you have an opportunity for happiness. You have an opportunity for wish fulfillment. You have an opportunity to start over. But there's no desire. There's no excitement. You need to find those resources within you to live again. To be happy again. To take steps in a new direction. To remove that obstacle, which is lack of faith. Remove that obstacle. Re remove it. Stop thinking about it. Stop going over what happened and why it happened and how it happened. And step into your new life. Because there's an opportunity for something new. Brand new. But this is somebody that is reluctant to move on. They're just not moving on. There's, there's, there's a loss of self, a loss of will, a lack of discipline, a lack of direction. It's, this is a card of transformation and this is a card of transformation. It's like you're blocking, and this is blocking your own transformation by... not taking steps in the new direction you're going to have to face your fears this is uh, hold your head up high this is a six of wands um, hold your head up high and move forward you have a lot of supporters you have people that support you people that recognize your nobility they recognize that you have been through something significant. You need to take action. You need to find that passion within you that has been lost. You really need to use that confidence and that self-esteem and that self-worth to move forward. So I feel like this is a time of you, you're going through some sort of spiritual rebirth, okay? You are. You're going through some sort of spiritual enlightenment. And you're being asked to release something that has held you back and start your new life. You have somebody here that probably you know, has a crush on you or somebody that wants to have a relationship with you or somebody that uh, sees potential in you, somebody that is wants to flirt with you or tries trying to flirt with you and they're probably trying to start something with you and you're holding on to something that is hurting you. My advice is to let it go because there's an opportunity for happiness here. With the person that didn't hurt you, okay? You have somebody else, is what I'm trying to say. And I don't say that lightly. I don't say, I mean, I guess I do say that lightly. I say it quite often, don't I? To you guys, it's probably like, oh, yeah, you say that all the time. I do say that. I say that a lot. It's the truth. It is the truth. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Somebody could be hanging on to the mother of their children. One more card for Capricorn. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. I think you have somebody new here. This is a page of cups. is a new offer of love. It is. It's time to let go of the emptiness and be happy again. They're, the reason they have brought this new person into your life is because there's some sort of spiritual connection with this person. My advice is to not fight it. So 
So yeah, that's what I have. Good luck.